Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College, and today I want to address an issue that I've seen a lot of people struggling with recently, and that's upgrading from 2018.1 to anything beyond that when you're using Text Mesh Pro. So, if you've tried it before, you may notice that you get an error, things break, maybe your text disappears, and I'm going to show you real quick how to run through it and do this upgrade without any problems. So, we're going to start by just creating an empty project in 2018.1, and now we'll import Text Mesh Pro. With that imported, we'll create a new Text Mesh Pro text. So let's just go to Game Object UI and Text Mesh Pro text and switch over to Game View. We can kind of see the text there, but I'm going to change the camera to just be solid color instead of a skybox. And let's put some text in here. Let's say this text will be broken because it's going to break when we do the upgrade. So I'm going to save my scene now and I'm going to close this project out. Okay, now we're back in the Unity Hub, and we're going to open this project with 2018.2. So here I just click the little dots, switch over to 2018.2, we'll go with 5F1, and open the project up. And let's see what happens. Well, the project is loaded, and as you can see, the text is still there. But if you take a closer look, you'll notice that we have some errors, and we can't actually play. Go to the console and you'll see that there are just some conflicts here between our asset store version of Text Mesh Pro and the package manager version that was automatically added. So if I look here in our project view, we have our Text Mesh Pro folder, but under packages, we also have Text Mesh Pro. That's because it's been bundled into the package manager system. Now to fix this, I can go into my Text Mesh Pro folder and just delete the plugins folder. That'll allow me to compile and build, but watch what happens to the text. And this is what people tend to be running into. Text is gone, and how do I get it back? Well, a couple ways I could do it. I could just go back in here, reassign the script, and make sure that everything is set up right. Or I can go to this window, go to the Text Mesh Pro menu, and then choose the Project Files Good Remapping Tool. Then hit Scan Project Files, and it'll scan through the project, and allow me to click this Save Modified Project Files when it's done, and my text should reappear. Let's see. Now it's also worth noting that when you do this, if the project is bigger, this may not be as fast. I ran it on a slightly larger project and it took many minutes to finish. So don't expect it to be instant if you have a relatively large project. But it's definitely a lot easier than going back through and trying to reassign all of these things. So there you go. That's all you really need to do. Just get rid of that plugins folder and then use that window, Text Mesh Pro, Project Files, Good Remapping Tool. Now, if it won't let you scan, so say you're in this menu in the remapping tool, there is a possibility that it will not allow you to scan. And that happens if the meta files are not on. So if we go to Project Settings and Editor, right here version control mode if this is not set to visible meta files you won't be able to see it so if i switch it over to hidden hit the button you'll see we get an error message now it'll automatically switch to hidden if you're using collaborate so you may have to turn collaborate off do this process and then turn it back on if you happen to be using unity collaborate or any other system that's locking this to hidden meta files so that's all there is to it uh, i hope this is helpful like i said a lot of people have gotten stuck with this over the last month or so. I've seen quite a few people just run into this problem. So there you go. That's the solution. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends.